What's going on, Gem in 10 Collector's World? Here's part three of our 153 uh, card uh, PSA submission reveal. Uh, this batch, once again, was sent out in September 2018 and just arrived probably around fe February 3rd. Long wait for these cards, guys, but I finally got them. Uh, we're going to go through this batch in part three. There are a lot of cards that I submitted that I wouldn't normally submit, and we're going to go through them in this batch kind of wanted to get to see what they would be graded uh, and uh, some some cards I'm really happy with and some cards that I'm not really happy with and the rest are kind of in the middle so um, PSA is one of the stingiest for grading and we'll go through the grades right now so 2017 UD Parkhurst, Nico Hershire, uh, Mint 9 on this one next up is a card that I sent to grade and I should have took a look at it better because now that I look at it in the light, there are some dings on it. Surface, definitely some surface dings. And if I, uh, I wouldn't have probably sent it uh, what I know now. Um, regardless of if it was a hot rookie or not, I, you always want to get a high grade on these cards. So PSA 5 um, on that one. Next up is a 1971. OPG Reggie Leach, it's a PSA 5 as well. Uh, this is a rookie, but uh, now that I'm looking at it, it probably eh, probably deserves a 5. Um, I, I don't know if well, back then when I was looking for maybe a 6 or 7, but now that you kind of get to used to what PSA looks for. Next up is uh, Zeke Elliott uh, Gem in 10, uh, Disco Prism. Nice card. Next up, 2018 Topps Chrome, Gleyber Torres, Gem in 10. And uh, these ones, basically, you just got to check the surfaces, make sure there's no scratches, uh, wipe it down and send it in. Uh, majority of the time, you'll get a 10 on these ones. The new cards. Next up is uh, 1991 Opeachy, which is a Canadian version of Topps Premium. Uh, sorry, Premier, Frank Thomas. Gem, uh, so I'm midnight on the Frank Thomas. We got a card that I start. I start uh, buying up cards that I think guys are going to go in the Hall of Fame. I think Albert's going to be a shoe in. So we got a mint nine on this one, rookie 2001 upper deck, Albert Pujols. Next up is um, debatable when's he going to get in the Hall of Fame? Uh, Roger Clemens, uh, near mint, mint. PSA 8 uh, from the 85 uh, tops set. I sent a few of these sets in uh, cards in the set. Next up is this card from the same set, 1985 Kirby Puckett. Uh, I sent about five or six of these to get graded. This one, one got a seven. I think this is the lowest grade I got. Uh, the five or six cards that I sent in. Uh, one of my favorite players, but uh, not a grade I was happy about. Next up. <clears throat> Is uh, so September I sent the submission in uh, just before I guess the season started. So uh, I usually send in all the hot potential rookies in. This one was a guy that was kind of hot back then. It's Josh Allen, uh, PSA 9 mint on the passport card. Next up is a card that uh, that uh, is really nice looking. It's number to 50, Louis Kohara. 2018 Bowman gem in 10 on it. We got uh, Hunter Green top prospect uh, Bowman uh, Platinum uh, mint 9 auto. Here's a nice, I always like these throwback uh, signatures. So Ozzy Newsome 2000 Panini Vertex. Vertex is a good uh, set to get uh, mint 9 on it. And uh, he's signed by him. Hall of Fame, I think he put in there. That's a nice card. Next up is a Jamal Adams from the same set. Panini Vertex Mint 9. On the autograph card. And it's numbered to... Is it numbered to 10? Yeah, it's numbered to 10. So. Next up is from my Nolan Ryan cards that I sent in. 1984 Fleer PSA 8. 
We got uh, UD Artifacts, Yamir Jagger Ruby, Gem in 10. We got a 2018 Chrome Alex Verdugo Purple on card. On, on card. Is that an on card or a sticker? It looks like an on card. Gem in 10. Next one is a player that's really hot right now, just won the MVP. Uh, we got Patrick Mahomes uh, rookie introductions, gem in 10. Here's a card uh, <laughs> just sitting around in my collection for a while, just kind of threw it in to get graded. It is uh, Topps Gallery, Ted Williams, number 10, 99, mid 9. Here is 1985 Topps. So, so the 85 Topps had. Uh, the USA baseball team. The most famous is uh, Mark McGuire, but uh, here is a Corey Snyder, and it is uh, a seven on the Corey Snyder. From the same set, we got a 1985 Tops Eric Davis, uh, and we got a uh, PSA eight on this one. Next up is a Brian Anderson Auto Rookie Autograph Tops Chrome. And I got a mint nine on this one. And I kind of see why there's a little bit of scratching on it. Maybe that's what got me a nine instead of a 10. Here is a 1988 Opeachy Bo Jackson. So the 88 Opeachy is rarer than the tops. Um, so some in some circles you can see that it's worth more. But uh, here's a mint nine. Would have loved to got a get a 10 on this one. But uh, I'll take a nine. Happy about a nine, guys. Here is a hard set to get a high reading. A 1985 Tops. The reason is, is the black borders. You get a lot of chipping. And I think the 85 Tops had a lot of centering issues. This one's pretty centered pretty well. But I uh, got a seven. There must be some surface problems on that one in the corners. The right hand corner is a little soft, but um, not bad. For this set, 1985 tops, we've had a John Elway. Here is uh, 1985 tops, Mark Clayton, rookie PSA 8. I'm very happy about 8 in this set. Hard to get one with those borders. Here is an iconic card for my youth. I kind of just got a slab because I remember this card is when I was young, it was really hot. PSA 9 on this one, Eric Lindros. One of the hottest. This is what got me a lot of kids, Canadian kids, into the into the hobby. So, PSA nine on their fun draws. Next up is a pretty cool story. Uh, I sent this in on another submission, and it got a min size, just like the ones I got when I first started these videos. Uh, the two uh, cracked it. Uh, sorry. Uh, put it back into this submission and I got a PSA 3 so I always like to get a uh, rating on a Mickey Mantle this is my 1969 Topps Mickey Mantle last name in yellow PSA 3 here is a PSA 4 for Terry Sawchuk I'll take it from a 1960 par first and next up is a newer card it is a 2017 Panini Vertex John Ross quad Autograph number to 25 and a mint 9. Really hard to get a 10 with all this going on there, but uh, I'm happy with a 9. Next up is just a kind of a base uh, Shoya Tani 1983 Tops throwback rookie card. Gem mint 10. And next up is my Mookie Betts rookie 2015 Panini Elite. Gem mint 10. And we got uh, Joe Morgan, 1985 Tops. Uh, debatable if I would get this graded now. Um, let's see the back. Uh, it's a little off center, left to right. And there must be something more wrong with this one. Maybe some surface problems. But uh, Joe Morgan, 1985, PSA 8. For these 80s collections, you're looking at least an 8 or a 9 to be happy with once you get into a seven eh, unless you're collecting the card it's not worth that much in the hobby in the hobby world uh 1978 uh paul hogram psa seven 
Now a seven in this set compared to the 85 is has more worth because this is a really hard hard set to get. Centering was terrible and it's an older card. Here we go, 1990 tops traded, Dave Justice, mid nine. So mid nine on that one. We got a Future Stars, 2018 tops archives. We got Torres, Frazier, and our gem in 10. We got uh, Nolan Ryan Bowman's best uh, PSA 8, kind of what I was expecting. Uh, this one was lower than I was hoping for. Uh, this next card is a 1982 Topps, got a 7 on it. Uh, I was looking for an 8 or a 9, especially uh, maybe a, a 9, uh, but got a 7 on this one, so not that happy with that. Uh, next up is pretty good grade for a 1982 OPG PSA 8 for this Gretzky Gold Leader. Next up is a PSA 7 for the 1978. By the way, if you're wondering why so many have so many 1978s, I actually bought a box of the 78 and uh, ripped it myself and uh, just uh, started grading a bunch of cards. So this is a Clark Gillies First Team All Star PSA 7. Next up is a pretty cool card. It's a Victor Rubles Topps Chrome Rookie Debut Medallions Auto. So, pretty cool. And it is a gem in 10 on this one. It's a pretty thick card. It's got a thicker uh, case for this one. That's funny. It says auto, but there's no autograph on it. And last but not least in this uh, third part is Alonzo Ball Purple Raider Rookie. And it is a gem in 10. So a lot of gem in 10s on the New York cards. Uh, so thank you for watching guys. If you want to be on our amazing box hockey breaks, go to Facebook page Gem in 10 Collectors World. Ask to join. Uh, you can watch, you can join us. We've got a lot of good stuff going on on the site, including we're allowed to, I'm allowing guys to auction their cards off. So that's pretty cool. Um, follow us on Instagram. Instagram's going crazy. We're over 300 and growing. Uh, Gem in 10 Collectors World. And all these videos, of course, will be on YouTube, our YouTube channel, Gem in 10 Collectors World. Please subscribe and watch all our videos on there. Uh, there's grading videos. We have box breaks. We have a lot of stuff going on. And uh, please uh, tell me in the comments what you think. Uh, let me know how the videos are and what you think about the cards. Thank you for watching guys and see you in part four.